Hello and welcome to RK Grenade, and once again, welcome to... Have a fiddle with Liam. Here on... Have a fiddle with Liam. We specialise in taking things apart so you can soothe your OCD. Today we're going to be having a look at the Xbox One and how to keep this almighty paving slab nice and clean. I'd like to point out that we do not accept any responsibility for damage that you may cause to your console or your face. Ready to give it a go? For this guide you will need a Torx 10 screwdriver, a Torx 9 screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, a separator tool and a craft knife. Now, watch! Look at that magnificent beast! First, grab your plastic separator. When I'm not making YouTube videos, I'm a plumber, so as you can see my tools are a little, well, dirty. I'm sure it'll work fine. Separate the grill from the side of the console by prying it open. Don't worry, you won't break it. Now take your knife and cut through that pesky warranty sticker. Once you've done that, grab this triangular tab and slide it towards yourself. Next take a flathead screwdriver or your separator and pry apart the case. It can be a bit fiddly, but again, don't worry, you won't break it. The entire case snaps together with a clamshell design. Once you've made your way along the case, set the console down and gently lift open the case. There's a very fragile ribbon cable that connects the faceplate to the console. There's just enough length on the ribbon to stand the case on its end, which will reveal a set of tabs. Gently pry these apart using either a flathead screwdriver or your fingers. Now these are apart, you can take the top half of the case off. Don't forget to store it somewhere safe, we might need it later. Next, take your Torx 10 screwdriver and remove these five screws. Now take a Torx 9 screwdriver and remove these two screws from the Wi-Fi board. Using the same screwdriver, remove these three screws that surround the board, and with a gentle pull, the PCB should remove from the console. Just be careful of the small wire. Swap for the Torx 10 and remove the two screws next to the fan, and place them with the others. Remove the hidden Torx 10 screw that's under the Wi-Fi board, and we're ready for liftoff! Flip over the cover and voila! Beautiful Microsoft Guts! Take your vacuum out and gently hoover around the fan, disk drive and hard drive. Just make sure to be careful of static buildup whilst doing this. When you're ready to reassemble, take the three small screws and reattach the connector for the PCB to the top of the case. It helps if you have an extra set of hands for this. Put the Torx 10 screws back into the recess under the board and screw it down, not too tight. Replace the two other Torx 10 screws next to the fan. Push the Wi-Fi board back into its connector, making sure to align it properly before firmly pushing it down. Place the two Torx 9 screws back in place on the board. Be careful not to slip when screwing them back down. We're almost there. Place the five Torx 10 screws back into the correct holes. Look closely at the case. There's engraving next to the correct holes so you don't put them in the wrong place. Grab the top half of the casing and clip it back into place. It can sometimes be a bit tricky, so don't be too cautious, it will all snap into place. Align the tabs on the bottom of the faceplate with the body of the console. Now, pivot it up and snap it into place. Grab the triangular piece and slide it back behind the chrome strip on the side of the console. Finally, snap the grill back into the console and voila! You have successfully reassembled your Xbox One. Hopefully with no screws left over? 